boost your knowledge by hitting that like button, sharing this video and subscribing to our channel. Ready to delve into DNA by Dennis Kelly. Here we go. DNA, a gripping play by Dennis Kelly, presents a world where teenage rebellion takes a dark turn. This mesmerizing piece of literature revolves around a group of teenagers who accidentally cause the death of one of their own, Adam. In a bid to cover up their crime, they devise a plan that spirals out of control, leading to unforeseen consequences. The story is set in an unspecified location, capturing the universal nature of its themes. The play unravels in a non-linear fashion, with the narrative shifting back and forth in time. This unique storytelling approach keeps the audience engaged, as they piece together the chilling events that transpire. In essence, DNA is a stark exploration of the tumultuous journey of adolescence, the dynamics of group behavior, and the moral dilemmas that arise when loyalty to friends clashes with personal conscience. Now that you have an idea about the play, let's meet its characters. In the world of DNA, each character plays a crucial part in the unfolding drama. Let's dive in. Phil, the leader, is cold and calculating, his power embodied in the quote, I'm not frightened of anything. Leah, his companion, is talkative and philosophical, often lamenting, everything's so temporary. Mark is guilt-ridden and nervous, while Jan and Kathy are the gossipers, always at the center of the group's chatter. Richard, the voice of reason, often finds himself sidelined, and Brian, the weakest, is constantly bullied. John Tate is the former leader, struggling with his loss of power, and Lou is the silent observer, her quietness underpinned by her quote, I don't say much. Each character with their unique personality adds a layer to the complex web of relationships and events. These characters with their distinct traits navigate the twisted narrative of DNA. Now let's look at the themes that underpin their actions. DNA isn't just a story about teenagers, it explores profound themes that resonate with all of us. At its core, this play by Dennis Kelly revolves around five significant themes, bullying, gang membership, social responsibility, morality, and leadership. Let's begin with bullying. A chilling example of this theme is seen in the character treatment of Adam. His peers view him as a soft target, and their actions eventually lead to a tragic event. Remember when Brian says, we were just messing around and we killed him. This quote encapsulates the dire consequences of unchecked bullying. Next, we have gang membership. The group of teenagers in the play forms a sort of gang, bound together by a shared secret. They exhibit tribal behaviors, establishing hierarchies and rules. Phil's line, we need to stick together, we're a team, illustrates this theme. Social responsibility is another recurring theme. The group's collective decision to cover up Adam's death, despite the moral implications, underscores their disregard for social norms and obligations. Leah's reflection, we've done something wrong, haven't we, serves as a stark reminder of this theme. Morality is another key theme. As the story unfolds, we see the characters grapple with their moral compasses, often choosing self-preservation over right and wrong. One quote that stands out is Kathy's, I don't feel bad, I don't feel anything. It's a chilling reflection of how morality can be sidelined when survival instincts kick in. Finally, we have the theme of leadership. Phil's character embodies this theme as he manipulates the group to ensure their loyalty and silence. His ability to lead is summed up in his words, we need a plan, something foolproof. So DNA by Dennis Kelly, a play of deep themes wrapped in a gripping narrative. Time to wrap up. We've just scratched the surface. Stay curious, keep exploring. 